Good morning, folks, but for a minor surface surge event northwest of the southern coronal hole, it was an utterly calm day on our star. The only thing worth analysis is the incoming sunspot groups. The sunspot number is rising, and the bright umbral magnetic fields connecting the sunspots are our only chance for activity today. Let's come to space weather news to see that solar flaring is low, and you guessed it, blame the sunspots. Let's evaluate the swath here, center north, then to the left and south. They are here but inactive. Gamma class magnetics here as positive blue is split up, and if the lead polarities mix, it could go delta. I could see some potential here with some umbral growth. Unfortunately, that's the only such case. We see small umbras too far from opposite polarity for flare danger. Just not enough interaction or size for that matter. Can't fully diagnose these down here, but I can tell already they need some major work. Sliding over to the solar wind where we see the low, low baseline of a weak star heading for grand solar minimum and the sputter events with ultra high but non-geo effective readings that do absolutely nothing to earth but courier a message of the quiet and shutdown. And that little satellite charging event we saw yesterday stayed minor and was very short lived. We did get a gamma ray burst this morning from Ursa Major, just a few hours ago, up near the northern celestial axis. While the weakened departing coronal hole takes Earth's magnetic connectivity, we see the next coronal hole coming in on the left. It is not tremendously visible yet in 211 angstroms, but you're definitely able to pick it out just next to the Earth's scale. It will be of positive polarity, and it appears the coronal fields are going to let him come out to play. Folks, if you didn't hear, all attempts to test NASA's flying saucer were scrubbed this weekend. We will wait for the coming days. I'd like to hit some GMO news. First, a federal judge could have removed the Jackson County GMO ban, but chose another way. I'm all smiles. But they turned a frowns upon word of the same measure of professional bullying to which climate researchers are subjected, now being placed in the GMO realm. For those clinging to the 6 or 12 month safety studies for GMOs and the proof that no, the entire modified gene does not make it into our food, let me say that's not long enough and the gene isn't the problem, it's what's expressed by the gene. In the comment section below I will repost my open letter on this topic, which has never once been challenged. How did India's heat wave end? Very quickly. The monsoon rains snuck up on them over the last few days as the first northern Indian Ocean cyclone of the season kicks up. It is going to swing towards the Middle East very soon. Something fascinating. A high pressure cell is stealing Antarctic cold and forcing it up in the southeast Pacific, right at Easter Island. A few hours ago, they shattered their all time record low temperature for the area by about 30 degrees. We are going to have to check that one for error. No mistakes here though. Blanca's here and screaming. A nightmare at the coastline and many places to the north as well as its moisture shearing up is on its way to meet the same energy flow out of the Gulf that comes to the convergence zone in the central states and which will shift slightly eastward by tonight, dropping the severe weather once more. Eyes open for tornado warnings. In Europe, the top weather came in the middle from pop-up storms off the convergence coming from the northern low. It was far more of an actor than the southwestern system approaching from North Africa. Last but not least, the convergence is actually easier to see today, no pressure overlay needed. The clouds stick to that outer region just barely scraping the southern coastlines of the land there. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Yesterday's Fly on the Wall episode was a very solid hour of relevant discussion over at SuspiciousObservers.org, and I did go back and post the links for that show, which I forgot for about three hours after posting the episode. Sorry about that. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.